Hi guys, Jill here. Today I wanted to share with you this card that I made for my father's birthday and it's featuring the Art Impressions Windows to the World stamp series. Um, the one that I used is called the Antique Window and um, as you'll see I cut off the words that go around the image and I just used the square part in the center. So I mounted the main image on my MISTI and I stamped it onto my watercolor paper and um, this is my um, Canson XL watercolor paper. So I'm using my distress markers today. So first we're going to start out with the Mermaid Lagoon and I colored this um, just above the tree lines and I just put a little bit there and then I used my watercolor brush pulled it all the way up to the top um, with a light wash and then I pulled some a little bit darker a little bit further up really easy to do next I came in with some chip sapphire and we're really just going to go over parts of the truck now there's a few things I want to mention to you um, First, one thing I like about the distress markers is that when they are wet, you can go back over that area. And um, I like to have different color intensity with these. Um, so you'll see that there are areas that I brush out and um, then there's areas I just come over and just leave. So I'm following the contours of the truck and um, you also see that I'm leaving some white areas, some areas I just never go over with anything. And that's important to show some of that highlight. So um, you'll see that I just colored over like right there and I leave it. I didn't add any water there. And um, so this is kind of watercolor, but kind of not. Sorry about the cats. They were really active. Um, and so here's another example of leaving some white areas and um, and then coming in with the dark like on the roof so now we're going to go in on the tires with pumice stone and those I don't even blend out much with the water and that's for the grill the bumper and the tires and really I just blend out a little bit there and I also got the running board Okay, so now we're coming in with the ground espresso for the trees and the fence. And um, again, not a lot of blending. I didn't use a lot of water on this. It's a very small image. Um, so you want to be real careful about the water. And I put a little bit on this palette. It's the Art, Art Impressions Water Palette water palette <laughs> wow um, it's just a palette that it's plastic and um, I use it to pick some color up okay so we're coming in with twisted citron and I kind of scribbled this into some areas and um, then I came into the trees I went on the grass um, and did a lot of scribbling. I also came in with mowed lawn for some of the darker areas. Again, I'll come in and blend. Um, not where the grass is, because where the grass is, you can see I made little blades. Um, but I'm going to come in to say the trees and um, some of that field. But I'm barely going to use any water. I just want to spread just a little bit out, leave this very scribbly. So that's it. Um, it was really easy to color. So now I'm going to do the card itself. I am using the hardwood background stamp from Stampin' Up. I am inking this up with the archival ink pad potting soil. I'm going to ink this up pretty good. I've got this in my MISTI I'm using a piece of craft paper. This is cut to five and a quarter by four. And um, so I know I'm not going to get this on the first try. <laughs> and I stuck this into my MISTI because 
I can't put magnets or tape or anything on it because I want this to the stamp to cover the entire front of this piece. So I go ahead and I tape it in there from behind and I stamped it twice. Now my card front itself is just A2 which ends up being um, five and a half by four and a quarter. And so that's how that's going to look. So I use the Walnut Stain um, Distress Ink and just um, edged that piece that I stamped. And um, because that's going to go right on top of the craft card itself. And that's where we're going to create the window. So I just wanted that little edge there. Okay, so now to make the window, I am going to use the large square nest abilities. I made a replica of where the um, truck is, and I just cut that through. And then I cut it through both pieces. I'm also going to, um, once I cut that, I'm going to edge the inside of that piece and then attach it to the front of the card. So now I have a hole through both parts and then I'm going to attach that truck piece to the back of the card but I want to be sure that it comes through that window so you can see it when the card is open. So what I did is I held the truck into the window and then closed it. And that's how I got it to perfectly line up. So now I have that little window die cut piece, which is also from Art Impressions. And I am distressing that with the Walnut Stain ink. And I'm actually distressing it by just going over everything back and front because the back of those little window panes is going to be seen through the inside of the card. And so that's how I want that to show up. So I'm going to attach that down with some matte medium. And I have that precision tip on my matte medium. And that was just my Teflon bone folder I used. And I don't want to go right up to the edge. I want to go to the outside edges of that. And I'll just stick that down and hold it on with the mount. And set that aside to dry. Now once that's dry, well, it is once that's dry, but I am stamping um, Dear Father from the well-scripted stamp set of, from Stampin' Up! And I'm using that same archival ink pad to stamp that. I'm going to use my Misty because I stamp it twice to be sure I get a good impression. I'm just using a little scrap um, from one of the die cut pieces that I made. And then I'm going to flip that over because I'm also going to stamp inside the card. Um, happy birthday from that same set. And um, like I said, this was a card for my father's birthday. And I'm going to stamp that inside. Now I did um, add some brads to the front of that little piece and I cut it down into a flag shape. Um, I lost that footage. Sorry about that. But you will see it on the finished card. And that pretty much finishes up the card. But if you have any questions for me, please let me know. And as always, I really appreciate um, you stopping by. And so there you have it. So um, thanks for stopping by and have a great day.